Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton again, and today we're checking out multiplying and dividing on the place value chart with powers of 10. In the last video, we looked at the pattern that every time you move one place to the right, or excuse me, that's to the left, um, it increases, the place value increases by 10 times the amount. And if you move twice to the left, it increases by 10 times 10 the amount, otherwise known as 100 and so on and so on right the pattern continues so in the last video we talked about 10 times 10 is the same as 10 to the second power which is also the same as 100 so we saw the pattern that 10 times 10 is the same as 10 to the second power which is also the same as 100 so those three things are all the same one two all right, so we're gonna check out. Um, ooh, uh, we're gonna check out multiplying and dividing on the place value chart using these powers of ten. So I'm gonna keep this same number, seven hundred forty-five. Okay, so that's gonna be my my number today. Okay, so let's say I want to um, multiply or divide using the number seven hundred forty-five on this chart. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the seven in the hundreds column because that's the value of the seven and the four goes here, and the five goes here. So that's how I'm starting. So let's say um, my question was 745 times 10. So the way that I would do that is I would take 745, and I know that multiplying or moving one space to the left would give me times 10, right? Times, whoop, times trying to get right times 10 and it keeps deleting my zero. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's times 10, right? And the same would hold true for the five. So I just, or the four. So I just slide the four over and then same for the five. I just slide the five over. Now these are all worth 10 times the amount of their original value. All right, so I know that if I used my place value chart, my answer would be 7,000. 450. Did anyone notice anything? Wait a minute. It doesn't say that on my place value chart. Hmm. So I have to think about this. I slid over the seven. I slid over the four. I slid over the five. But what's in the ones place? Well, there's a whole lot of nothing there because there was a whole lot of nothing in the tenths place. So if you want to, you can actually think about that in the tenths place, but we have to put a zero in the ones place. All right, so that's where that zero came from over there. Okay, so let's check out a little further. So let's say I got the question, I'm going to start with 745 again. I'm just going to keep that the same for right now. Let's say I got the question 745 times 100. Okay, so let's check that out. I know that if I move two places to the right, I keep saying to the right, and I'm supposed to be saying to the, <laughs> to the left, to the left. Here's one place, here's two places. So I could put my seven here, because that's times 10, and that's times 10. And we know 10 times 10 is 100, right? Okay, so then I'm going to go one, two places for my four. One, two places for my five. Now remember, there's a whole lot of nothing back here. But we do have to go one, two places. One, two places. Because our answer is going to be 74,500. All right, could you also say that this is equal to 745,000 times 100 is the same as 745 times 10 to the second power? You could. You'd get the exact same answer. And you could actually see that here, right, where I wrote the 10 times 10. So that's the 10 to the second power which is the same as 100, right? 
Okay, let's see. Let's try out a division one. Okay, so I'm gonna erase, and I'm gonna go back to my starting number, 745. So let's say um, I have 745, and I want to divide by 10. All right, we know that if we move one place to the right, okay, this time I got it right, one place to the right, it's worth 10 times less. We learned that in the last video, right? Okay, so if I move this over here, slide one place to the right, it's worth 10 times less. So I could put the five there, and the four there, and the seven there, and of course I have my decimal, right? So, and also I have, my answer has a decimal in it, and it's so important that we do not say 74.5. Don't say it. Your teacher won't let you say it anyway. Um, we have to know how to say the numbers because they relate to decimals. And when you get to middle school next year, your science teachers are going to be talking about uh, the metric system and dividing. And it's just helpful if you know how to say the numbers. Okay, so 745 divided by 10 is 74 and 5 tenths. Now, see how my 5 landed in the tenths column? That's how I knew how to say that. All right, so let's check out. Um, I'm going to go back to my original number again. But this time, I'm going to divide by 100. 745 divided by 100. Okay. So again, you would write the number 745 just as it starts out. You'd write that in your chart. Now, you know the patterns on the chart. If you move two places, that's one, that's two, that would be divide by 100, right? So I could put my five here. Actually, I think I'm gonna put my five in the column just down below so I don't make a giant mess. Let me do that again. Okay, so one, two. So my five goes here. So that is divide by 100, right? Okay, so the four has to follow along. One, two, divide by 100. One, two, that's divide by 100. And I'm just copying the numbers or the um, digits, right? Okay, and then there's my decimal. So the answer to that would be seven. And, okay, now this is how I know how to say the name. I have 45, and the last column is the hundredths column. See that? So I just say 7 and 45 hundredths. Okay? So that would be also the same as 745 divided by 10 to the second power. Because we know that 10 to the second power is 100, right? So these end up being the same answers. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do 745 divided by 1,000. Okay, 745 divided by 1,000. Otherwise known as 10 to the, how many places? Third power. Okay, so we would be sliding, not one, not two, but three places. So I'd put my five here. So we had to go divide by, if you want to think about this, each one of these as divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. That's your 10 to the third power. But we can also think about them as one thing together that's divided by 1,000. Okay. All right, keep on going. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, we've got nothing in the ones place and beyond for a whole number. So we don't have a whole number anymore. So we're going to put a zero 
there in the ones place, and we're going to put our decimal in. And the way that we know how to say this number, it would be 70, uh, 745 and then whatever place the last digit's in. So 745 thousandths, right? And we have to say it correctly. We cannot say 0. 0.745. We cannot do that. Okay, so 745 thousandths. And that was the same as 745. Can I squeeze it in? Divided by 10 to the third power. Same thing. Right? Because we could actually see 1, 2, 3. Right there. Okay, kids. I hope this helped. This is multiplying and dividing on the place value chart with powers of 10. See you next time. Bye.